Today, the remains of Navy radio man third class Theodore Q. Jensen are now back in Utah. He was killed nearly 80 years ago in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn joins us live from Salt Lake International Airport where she spoke with the late sailor's loved ones today. Sydney. It was an emotional day here as loved ones were finally able to bring that beloved sailor home. As this airplane touches down, a hero is home. It's unbelievable. About 80 years later. Just unbelievable that they could bring him home. This sailor lost at war. Knowing my grandpa has wanted him home ever since it happened. Is finally with his loved ones. When I first heard the news that um, they were bringing him home, I thought it was a scam. As Sharon Senecal. Theodore Q. Jensen is my uncle. Prays over her uncle's casket. Uh, I remember him doing just a million things. She thinks of the man who was taken too soon. I knew him as a young child, but then I also knew him just from the letters and things that he wrote. Even for the ones who didn't know, the man everyone is here to salute. His memory is all around. I live in the house that he grew up in, and all the trees around my house he planted. Now that Jensen is back and being driven to the place he left, his family can finally say a true goodbye for the man who died for all of us. His patriotism was alive and well in the 1940s. Hopefully in 2021 we can relive some of that. Jensen's remains are probably just now arriving back in his hometown of Delta, Utah, where he will be laid to rest tomorrow afternoon.